Okay. We made it. So, before I accidentally um, lose a friend, this is not my video idea. Um, please check out my beautiful friend Kiara's link um, in the description. Um, her aesthetic inspired this. But, apart from that, it's New Year's Eve. Which is terribly exciting for um, many people. Um, I'm not one of those people. So, New Year's Eve is a bit of a funny time for me and I think it can be a funny time for a lot of people. I, I know myself, I get stuck in nostalgia. I think about all the things I've done um, that I regret. I think of things that I used to have, but maybe times have changed. I, I think of all the things I could have done and didn't, which is dumb. <laughs> and I'm highly aware, but it's just a bit of a, a bit of a struggle. But that's okay. It's valid. Oh my goodness, if this dies, I'm not gonna be happy, a happy camper. So, I have notes because I knew I would get sidetracked and I don't wanna cut this because, I don't know, a lot of people think that, you know, I'm all sunshine, but sometimes I enjoy a reality check. I guess, um, I want to use this New Year's Eve as a chance to look back at the year in gratefulness and maybe even some modest pride at what I have been able to do this year because I think this year has actually been really big for me. Um, but I don't know, in, in all the unhelpful nostalgia I often forget that I've actually come a really long way and I was hoping to film this video before getting, you know, that, that unhelpful nostalgia attack situation happening, but that's fine. Um, hopefully it'll combat it and I can be proud of myself. So I guess to start off with, I ended last year with some New Year's resolutions. Um, I remember making three, but I can only remember two of them. <laughs> I think I just threw in a third one to make three. I don't know why. The number three was important to me. Um, oh. So, my first news resolution, which was really important to me, uh, trigger warning, but I think it is a positive message in the end. I really wanted to go um, three months without self-harm. Um, Please keep yourself safe if talking about this stuff is not helpful for you. You don't need to stick around. Please don't. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go three months without self-harming. And essentially that's 90 days. And today's 95 days. Um, I didn't think I was gonna, you know, reach that goal for a little bit there. So I'm really significantly proud of myself for that. Um, also another goal was another mental health related goal because that was a really big part of my life last year um, was I wanted a year without hospital admissions um, specifically in regards to um, my battle with anorexia nervosa um, I I think just in general, I need to be really proud of myself for that. I have come a really, really, really long way this year and I've reached a point, I'm not recovered just yet. Oh, what just wait. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> I've lost my flow. Oh, we're back in business, baby. Okay, so um, 
clearly I had to relocate because we were having having issues with the fact that there's a breeze and um, that plus fire is a bad situation. But yeah, anyway, you know, wholesomeness. I haven't been to hospital this year and that's cool. And in fact, more than that, I think I've reached a point in my recovery, which isn't the end point by any stretch of the imagination. I'm growing every day, but, ow. I feel more free and I'm growing and I just, I feel more and more like myself and that's not something that I really thought that I would be able to experience for a really long time. Um, what else do I have? Yeah, so I guess a summary of my current mental health is that I'm doing really well. Um, I'm not better, but I'm doing really well. And I think that that's something that needs to be acknowledged by myself, is that I've grown in leaps and bounds and it is utterly terrifying. But regardless, here I am. And that's not a bad thing. Forgive the camera angle, I just realized it's like pointing in a completely opposite direction. Um, and I guess a little bit related to that, I've gained a lot of strength this year. I've, okay, I don't want to attack people um, or things or situations, but I've had some things in my life this year that have been really hard and um, have made me, uh, I think, really question who I am. But I feel that from those experiences, I have, I've regained respect for myself. And yeah, I don't need toxicity in my life. I don't need to be a certain way. I can be precisely who I am. And I am allowed to put my well-being first. Ow. I'm getting burnt by this and I'm scared of the dark. <laughs> On a more wholesome note, I guess, I've got a new job and it's really fun. It's very uh, different to my other job. I have two jobs now. Um, one, one job is retail with food and another job is working as a medical receptionist. Um, so now, with a combination of the two, I'm practically working full-time, and it's really cool. I feel like I'm finally taking a step forward in my life, and I also feel like I haven't been able to feel that way for about four years um, since I've... Oh my goodness, I guess. At midnight, this will be my fifth year out of school, and that... That is some crazy stuff right there. But I'm saving and I'm, I'm saving and I'm growing and I have goals and life's moving forward. And I thought I was gonna be stuck here for quite some time. Um, not in this life, um, as in stuck, not moving forward, not having dreams, not having goals, not having aspirations. And I finally feel like I have something to hold on to. And that's really cool. Um, reading my notes, I guess I could summarize saying I, I'm looking forward into life with hope and dreams. And for once, that's not just a five minute thing. This is sticking around. I have, oh my gosh, please don't. Here we go, for the heck. <laughs> Hi, future. What am I talking about? Thank you, Wind, for making me lose my train of thought. I guess if I let myself look into this coming year with, um, with positivity and hope, what do I want to do? I, I want to keep making videos because it's fun and I enjoy doing it. I know not all of my videos are what my channel might call successful, but 
I genuinely enjoy making them and I have a lot of fun so that's something I'm going to keep doing. I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep making friends, keep being musical, keep learning about myself and what it means to be happy and alive. Don't really know what else to say. I'm just using up sparklers at this point. I uh, please, 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 please don't die. Ugh. Oh, I thought this would be an easy video, but turns out it's quite stressful. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else I need to say. I just, I just want to be happy and dwell on things I think that are positive because it's so easy to get lost in look at this <laughs> it's so easy to get stuck in the could haves the should haves the I all of those sorts of things I don't know what else there is and for once in my life I want to spend a new year remembering that despite a year that could have been, here I am. And I have actually gained quite a lot. And that's brilliant and I deserve to be proud of where I am and where I stand. And anything that comes in my way of feeling positive and stepping into this new year with hope, they need to to leave, it needs to leave, whatever that situation may be. This is much more of a train wreck than I was um, hoping that it would be, but that's okay. Feeling a little solemn, and that's okay too. Might get some sleep. <laughs> I hope you have a really beautiful new year. Um, take care and be safe and I hope that you can be proud of what you have achieved in 2018 as you move forward into 2019. I hope it's truly wonderful for you. Bye.